Prepare to be amazed because you're about to check out drunken cats, drunken dogs, and buck wild Japanese micro brewed beers. So I made a last minute run to the gachapon shop near closing time, and lo and behold, what do we have here? Looks to me like we've got dogs and cats wasted out of their minds. These party pets just went on a booze-fueled bender, the likes of which are rarely seen. In other words, nice fucking collection right there. Truth be told, these gachapon are right up my alley, so I started buying those bad boys at a feverish pace. I was so excited I damn near got my hand stuck inside that machine trying to get the gachapon out. I mean, like most stores in Japan, this shop started to play its closing time music as if to kindly say, get the fuck out. So I picked myself up a whole mess of dogs and cats in record time and then I headed on home to open up those bad boys. Now on my way home, I picked myself up a random selection of Japanese micro-brewed beers. Gotta set the mood and gotta get in the groove, right baby? I mean, it's not every day that you get to unveil drunken cat and daug gachapon, so you might as well do it in style, might as well do it with some fresh brews. Now I reached for the first gachapon, got me a yellow capsule on deck, and here we got some promotional paper action. Things in black and white? What the hell is this shit? I don't know, maybe I'm just spoiled, but I'm used to dealing with color promotional papers. I mean, what is this, the Wizard of Oz? Cause last time I checked, we ain't in Kansas no more, and wow, just wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is one nice fucking inebriated dog right there. Seems to me like that Boston Terrier is chillaxing in a drunken stupor of glory. Next up, I saw some kind of tumbler flying around inside that bag, and check it out, we've got a mini mixed drink right here. Kinda looks like a vodka cranberry to me. And check out that dog sporting that buck wild drink. Looks to me like that's one hard working, hard drinking motherfucking dog. That puppy is washing away his sorrows until the daylight of tomorrow. Now personally, I feel pretty inspired by that Daug's alcoholism, so I figured I'd try out my first beer. We got Dopo Unagi beer. Apparently this is a black beer that's meant to be drank alongside with Japanese eel, but unfortunately I was fresh fucking out. The show must go on, baby, so I decided to drink that bad boy anyway, so here I am pouring that puppy. The beer itself has a black color with a slight brown hue and a little bit of head popping off. So I went on to slam back a few sips and I was struck by the strong maltiness of it all. The beer had a little bit of a chocolate and coffee flavor but for the most part it just had strong savory maltiness. Wasn't exactly my favorite black beer of all time, let's just put it that way sweet cheeks. Maybe it would have been better if I actually had some eel to eat with it. You live and you learn. Anyway, I had to cleanse that palate, so I got some cheddar on a cracker and slammed it down the hatch. Pretty nice cracker right there. It was a subtle yet sophisticated cracker. Anyway, next up we've got a blue capsule on deck. So let's open up that bad boy and see what's inside. Just gotta get that promotional paper out of the way. Now what exactly are we dealing with here, because it looks to me like maybe, just fucking maybe, we're dealing with a kitty over here. Yeah, it is a kitty, and to be honest, I think he looks blasted out of his mind. Seems to me like he's pass out drunk in the wake of a wild, debaucherous night of epic proportions. Now we've also got what looks like a sake, aka Nihonshu cup. So I'm guessing I just have to take that cup and jam it between the paws of that fine fucking feline. So I snap that vessel into place and check out that kitty. That's a pretty nice alcoholic animal if you ask me. I mean if falling asleep with booze still in your hand ain't dedication, I don't know what is. And speaking of booze, it's time for me to check out my next microbrewed beer. 
Now, I don't know much about this beer, except it's called Gasson Beer. It's a pilsner, and it's got a picture of a sick-ass fucking mountain on the label. So I started pouring out that brew and realized that was one clear motherfucking beer right there. It's lightly carbonated and has barely any head to speak of. The beer has kind of an apple juice hue and it's clear as piss. Doesn't exactly look like a beer at first glance, to be honest. So I slammed back a few sips, but overall I gotta say the beer tasted as lackluster as it looked. I mean, it had a bit of sourness and some bitter, hoppy aftertaste, but overall, nothing to write home about. It was just kind of a light-bodied beer that, in my humble opinion, lacked complexity. Anyway, it's time to check out the next drunken pet. Will it be a cat or will it be a dog? The sheer mystery of it all is whipping me up into a wild frenzy. Truth be told, all this anticipation is making my heart race at a life-threatening pace. And I think I see some stripe action. It looks like we might be dealing with another buck wild kitty in this bitch. This cat is so wasted out of his motherfucking mind that he's actually tied his necktie around his head. This whole necktie on the head deal is basically a symbol of a drunk businessman in Japan. You may not actually see someone in Japan doing this, but everyone around these parts knows what this means. I guess I'm being indirect and beating around the bush, so let me put it to you real simple and direct like, that right there is one nice motherfucking kitty. Bottom line is that cat liked the booze that he tasted, but right about now he's blackout wasted. Seems to me like that cat knows how it's done, so let me follow in his footsteps and check out the next beer. This beer is called Sanuki Draft Beer, and it has a picture of a Buddhist monk on its label. I mean, I don't know what your philosophy of life is, but mine is, if you're drinking a beer that has a Buddhist monk on the label, you gotta be doing something right in life. I get the feeling that this beer is gonna bring me all kinds of enlightenment, all different kinds. I mean, hear me out. I know one of the main goals of Buddhism is to free yourself from desire, but right about now I have a crazy-ass hankering to chug this beer. I mean, this beer has a golden hue, and apparently it's a German-style beer, and right about now my desire is going off the fucking charts. What would Buddha say? That's all I want to know. So I slammed back a few sips, and I gotta say, the beer was tasting light, yet flavorful. It had a nice hoppy aftertaste without being too strong, and it tasted like the kind of beer that you could just chug in huge quantities and still enjoy. What I'm trying to say is that was a nice fucking beer right there. Hell, I think even Buddha would approve. So on that note, time to check out the next Gachapone. I haven't even opened this yet, but somehow, some way, deep in my heart, I have a funny feeling that this is going to be a nice piece of lifeless plastic. And wow, looks like we've got yet another kitty on our hands. Never in my life have I beheld so many buckwild drunken kitties, and holy shit, check out that cat. Fucking thing's holding a pint glass that's as big as his head. Check out his eyes, that cat's such a dedicated drunkard that he's damn near dozing off mid-sip. I mean, even though this cat is wasted out of his mind, he seems to have an almost zen-like, calm and content expression on his face. I mean, if that ain't an inspirational, alcoholic animal, then I don't know what is. Now it's time to try out the next microbrew, and here we got a beer called a Yamaguchi Pale Ale. Now lately I'm pretty into pale ale, so I'm getting pretty excited to try this out. Especially about this beer because this has a buck wild building on its label. So I poured out this puppy and was immediately impressed by its amber red hue. It seemed like just the kind of beer that I've been searching for in my life. I mean, do you see what we're dealing with here? That's one aesthetic fucking beer if you ask me. So I slammed some of that beer down the hatch, and man, oh man, that was tasting mighty fine. I was tasting a mixture of fruity and spicy flavors with a nice hop aftertaste. It's the kind of beer that I rarely come across in Japan, and I've gotta say, I love it to bits and I wanna kiss it on the tits. 
Anyway, I was a bad dude for some palate cleansing, so I got me some cheese on the cracker in preparation for the last gachapon and beer. So here we go, last gachapon, baby. I mean, if you thought that your life has improved from seeing those other four gachapon, just you wait until you see this one. Because what we've got here is a little thing I like to call a blackout drunk corgi. I mean, I haven't even gotten a full view of this thing yet, and I can already tell it's buck fucking wild. I mean, this corgi is basically laying down, hugging an empty beer bottle, and it seems to me like he's got his priorities straight in life. His high levels of blood alcohol content have seemed to bring him an inner sense of peace and an inner sense of joy. Long story short, that's one irresponsibly kawaii motherfucking dog right there. And on that note, it's time to try out the last brew. We've got Osaka Dojima beer right here. Now, I don't exactly know what a Dojima is, but whatever it is, it sounds pretty nice to me. So I started pouring out that beer. Now, I don't know if I did a shit job, but a huge-ass head formed on top of that beer, and a whole lot of carbonation just went flying all over the place. That is some serious head action right there, and check out that whirlwind of carbonation. Seems to me like I'm in for something completely different from those other beers. So I started imbibing this bad boy and was seriously surprised by the taste. It kind of tasted like a light beer with a subtle herby taste, but something about that head really enhanced the experience. It's kind of hard to explain, but that thing went down so smooth it was almost like drinking a milkshake in consistency. Overall, I'd say this is a life-enhancing beer. Anyway, if you want to improve your life in unidentifiable ways, then check out the Gachapon shop and stock up on some drunken dogs and cats. Or, if you want some more information about the craft beers that I drank in this video, then check out the corresponding blog post. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.